Hey guys, in this video, I'll be talking about the feat that took me six years to accomplish. More about like five and like seven months-ish, close to there, but I'm going to talk about my whole Bedwars journey. Also, a lot of people are asking for more hand cam, so I threw some hand cam in the background footage because people apparently like hand cam, I don't know why. Um, but yeah. I first started playing Ranked Bedwars because um, my mom had taken my PS4 away, which is something I'm just gonna, uh, uh, I'm gonna leave another video to tell that story, but mom had, my mom had originally taken my PS4 away and I wanted something to play. And I'd seen my cousin play, or watching an Unspeakable video and he was playing Bedwars and we were in like Chicago or something on a vacation. I was watching that and I was like, wow. So when I had came home and got my, um, PC taken, um, I mean, not my PC, my PS4 taken, then it led to me needing something to do, being really bored, so I ended up starting to play Bed Wars, and it was fun. I remember there was some really squeaky kid who was like a chicken skin, who that I, that was like my first Minecraft friend, talked to him over Skype. Um, and that guy, like, still tried to, you guys tried to get in contract with me, like, two years ago, it was really scary, but moving on. But then, um, after, I started playing Bed Wars, and I, at first I was, like, I was in, like, I don't know what year, I, well, I don't know what grade I was in, it was 2017, so, I'd be a senior now, if you want to do the math, you can do the math, um, grade-wise, I didn't know, okay, but moving on. Um, and I was just, like, okay, I'm just gonna play for the summer, and then when school starts, I'm just gonna quit Minecraft. That was the original plan. I just wanted something to do for the rest of August. Um, and I started playing. I got to like 14 star. And then school came around and I ended up school. I always did, the, I always did this thing with school where I thought it was going to be way harder than it ended up being. So school wasn't that hard. And one day, I was sitting in a Bedwars lobby. It was me and my like random VIP non-friend. And I was sitting in a Bedwars lobby. And there is this, and I, we were looking for a third, and this guy named Homo Sexy Whale, which if you want to say the name fast, you realize what it is, but that guy, um, that guy, uh, asked if he wanted to join me and his friend, which was, his friend's name was Outmaneuver, God, that guy's name was Aaron, and he's like my best friend ever on Minecraft, but that was what kind of changed it all for me in the Minecraft sense is when I met a uh, homo sexy whale's name was Jay so I'm just gonna refer to him as Jay and then outmaneuver his name was uh, Aaron so when I met Jay and Aaron they were like really good at the PV like PvP for back then like at speed bridge back when like speed bridging in 2017 was a big fucking deal so um, they could speed bridge they could rod PvP they clicked over 10 they were just like i wanted to be them <laughs> and I, um, um at this point i was playing on my family's desktop in my own laptop and i wasn't very good um but they became like my friends we'd like skype call every day this is back before i ever got on discord i didn't touch discord till i was like a 200 star or some shit but he, they became like my friends group Aaron taught me to speed bridge and how to rod and just all that stuff. We'd play Sky Wars, Bed Wars 4s. They're the reason I started ever using a client, Labby Mod. They, they were just, they were my first ever, like, real friend group. Um, and I just remember there was this guy named Brad Combies, well, who had like a, he had a Halo skin. And we were playing Bed Wars once. <laughs> and I, uh, I got a, I got a combo. <laughs> and he was like, he was like so hyped over my combo and it was just that was that was a really fun time but um me and that friends group just moved like grew apart for reasons of jay was always kind of a dick to me and when jay finally face revealed i laughed at his face reveal for two minutes straight in a call with him because i was like i've i've been letting this guy be bully to me this whole time and that's how me and jay stopped really talking <laughs> um and then aaron aaron would just like he would like disappear for months and then come back for like a week or two and 
Aaron, I've still, I've as recently played with Aaron like two years ago, but he was like, I would consider him one of my top five best Minecraft friends. Um, and then moving down the line, I just became like a lobby one player from like 150 star to like 220 star. And when I was like a 220, 230 star, I got invited to a guild called Holy. Holy. I'm just kidding. It's called Holly. Holly. Holy. No, it's Holy. Why do I call it Holly? It's Holy. I'm just, I'm an idiot. But um, that guild is where I met a lot of people whose names you might know. I met you Dummy in that guild. I met Sketchy in that guild. I met Jeremu in that guild. Um, installed Dink memes I met through that guild. I just met a lot of people back through that guild, and that guild was a big thing. And I'm skipping over like some important aspects of my Bedwars life. I, I can't really go full in depth. It's really hard to remember like six years with the Bedwars, but I also met one of my nearest and dearest friends to that point, which was Khufu. I love Khufu. <laughs> but that was when, around that time when I met Udummy, Udummy was like going on like lowish wind streaks and stuff like that. And I would, I would play with like them and they were they were really good and I was just like I was okay but um me and Khufu started playing it was always like me and Khufu then some like lobby one e-girl to defend <laughs> that was and me and Khufu got like a 40 win streak and I got really gassed and that was like me I wanted me and Khufu to be like me and him just play threes all day with a third but Khufu had the same sim symptom that everyone else had where I was really starting I was really loving the game and he wasn't loving it as much so uh, I started playing a lot with you, dummy, and I have a I have a screenshot of this on my phone for some reason. I saw it through when I was scrolling through my Snapchat memories. Cause you know I have my Minecraft win streaks on my Snapchat memories. I was under the assumption I had not started win streaking until 300 star, but I actually got my first 100 win streak at 287 star. So I don't know, kind of wiping off the shoulders right now. I was uh, getting 100 win streak back to the 287 star. I remember my friend used to Godbridge being like. Only full parties of 20 FKDRs get uh, 87 win streaks, and I was like, um, I just did it. But uh, going through these older Bedwars memories, I have good memories of um, me beating Jin when he when he cross mapped us on Invasion. It was me, you dummy, Jeremu, and my friend who used to Godbridge playing legit um, <laughs> against Jin. Uh, Fuck, I don't remember. It's, it's like blood members and, and two IY and shooting you girls, and we beat them when they cross mapped us. And I like killed two while my friend broke the bed. And I, after that game was over, I ran around my house screaming. I was so happy. I was this like 14 year old kid who just beat like in our mind like the best Bedwars player, and I was just like so happy. <laughs> um, I, I remember we were on like a hundred. We were on like a hundred win streak. And I, and I couldn't play again for the night. I had to get off because my adrenaline was just pumping so much. Um, and then around 2018, snipers became a bigger deal with the whole Itzels thing. And Itzels being an interesting little feller. And that led to you privates becoming more of a thing. We always, I had done a little bit of legit sniping because I'm, I like being, I like the sort of games. I've always been competitive, but that turned into actual sniping, which turned into like you dummy and Jeremy and they became kind of obsessed with privates which again I'm skipping over a lot of stories I can do another video where like I like talk through other Bedwars stories if you guys want if you guys like this style of uh, post commentary but then that led to me being kind of like a lobby I like guild hopped a lot I joined Storm I joined Dark Storm is when I met Wolf Duck in 2018 and other people who I still know to this day um, didn't really meet anybody in dark then I joined rice when rice was made if you're OG bedwars you kind of know what rice was it was like one of the biggest guilds of the time and I was an active member of rice for a little while I joined the day it was made I was really close with the dummy and all that and then rice got disbanded <laughs> well no rice didn't get disbanded I'm like skipping soda photo in the timeline but I actually got banned I, 2018 Bedwars tourney, I played with a Skywars cheater, which I don't want to go more into my cheating history in another video, so I'm not going to go too in depth, but I spent a lot of time around a Skywars cheater and led to me to start cheating. I also 
have self-destructive tra tra traits. So I stayed up December 1st, 2018. First day of the Rink Skywars season, and I 3.4 blocked a mod. But we're just gonna move on. Um, got banned for uh, six months, and that's when I officially had quit. I told everyone I was gonna quit, and I was gonna just leave. I'm like, I'm gone, bye. And then I came back two, two months later, not two weeks, two months later, and played on one of you dummies IRL friends accounts. Um, I played on that account, ended up buying a new account, got it got really into privates for a little bit when I came back because I didn't really want to, I only was, I was grinding like the singular win streak with my friend who moved to India in the middle of the win streak, so I just became, I started grinding privates until my main got unbanned, and my main got unbanned at this point, I'm like a, I'm like a 500 star through on my grinding, I'm like top 300 star or something around there, and that led to me when my main got unbanned, I grind. I think I grinded relatively hard um, up until I got bored and started playing Skyblock. And when I started playing Skyblock, that took up like a chunk or two of my life. And then I was indulged in Skyblock for like half a year, four months ish, I don't know, until the 2019 4v4 Bed Wars tournament. And I don't know if Jedi is watching this video, but this is something I'm never gonna tell Jedi to his face. And if he watches this video, he can find out. I had been in the Ring Bedwars server in beta because I'm OG privates. If anyone knows here, watching this point knows what that means. It means I played privates before Ring Bedwars was a thing and I was around. But I joined Ring Bedwars in beta. I was really scared of like everyone in the sense of like, I wasn't really scared. I shouldn't really wanna play. I just tell everyone I was scared. I was so scared of these Rink Bedwars players. No, I just didn't want to play. Um, and I left. And then I watched the Buff Boy Wilson Green Jediah 04 tournament videos. And that was the shit that made me go, man, I want to play Rink Bedwars. I also had a friend, Jonathan. Shout out to Jonathan. He lets me play on his account a lot. Um, he's the you what the fuck account owner. He was always in Rink Bedwars and making jokes about it. So I was like, man, I'm going to play. And also, funny side note, the first day I came back after my two-month break was the day Manhall hit 800 stars, and I played privates against Manhall the day I came back. <laughs> That's just a funny little tidbit that I just, I find funny, and just, like, tiny little interactions with people who are now, like, known. Um, but then it led to me joining Ranked Bedwars and doing nothing but playing Ranked Bedwars. Man... I'm like a 600, 700... I think I'm a 600, 700 star at this point. And I just no life Ranked Bedwars. I know life ranked bedwars from like season three to season seven, nine, nine. I got all stars, but I was still stick like sticking in like I was playing UHCs, I was playing normal bedwars, I was playing all of that, and then I played normal bedwars S nine. After S nine, I started playing normal bedwars again. Got the eight hundred. I got the eight hundred star. Got to like eight. 50 star and then I got invested in bridge then after bridge got invested in skyblock and then I quit I quit for half a year That was and then I came back if you know I got cancer got bored came back that story doesn't really need to be retold It's been told a hundred times by me But then I came back and I was playing some bed wars because you know go to game grinded about 20 ish stars and then I was watching an aoe stream and aoe was like I'm going for double rainbow soon, which Good job, AoE. No, I'm joking. And I was like, okay, let's race. Me knowing that I'd win the race because I was closer in Skyward Stars being already a 15 star and then him being a, uh, like, 400, 300 star, 400 star in Bedwars, 200 star, not even 100 star. Pretty sure he's a Canadian star. Um, so I, that led to me, you know, the GOAT, wiping my... I, I, I'm, I, I'm kind of patting myself on the shoulder right now. I'm just... I'm doing it again for some reason. Um, it led to me being like, I'm going to go for Double Rainbow. So I completely quit sky i completely quit bedwars like one star away from 100 star and just grinded skywars grinded skywars grinded skywars sky grinded skywars i was loving it 3k xp a day 5k wins in a month just rattling it all off and then i was gonna go for the record i was gonna go i'm gonna get 50 star in a month right i told myself i got to the point of my bedwars journey where i was so interested in skywars i didn't care for double rainbow i didn't care for double rainbow the only time Double Rainbow ever became an interest again in my mind 
is when I uploaded the double amethyst video and that video popped off, which I still thank you guys for all the support lately. The views have been crazy. Every time I upload a video, I just love reading the comments and everything. I appreciate you guys a lot, but that video blew up. Like, I was like not getting like any views. And that video was out of nowhere. It was like, bam, 2,000 views. I was like, what? You're telling me getting a double prestige? People want this? Okay, I'm gonna go, go, go grind some Bed Wars. And that's why it ended up being switched. Where I just wanted to grind Bed Wars. I just wanted to grind my 1K star. And I had to force myself to play Sky Wars. And, um,. That's just, just crazy to think how much I skipped over, and that's, I finally hit 1k star, finally hit my 50 star, and, um, basically my whole 900 to 1k star journey was me just, like, trying to get win streaks and then getting sniped, and then trying to get win streaks and getting sniped. That was that journey, if you, if you want, like, a that summed up. But it's just crazy how, how it's been five and a half years on and off of me playing Bed Wars to get to this goal, and I want to do 1k, <laughs> I want to do my next 1k stars in like a year, uh, I don't think I'll actually take care of the end of the year, but it's a goal, but, um, I appreciate you guys for being here for the journey, the part of the journey that was my content creation part of it, which is like the last 400, 300 stars, but if you guys want more videos where like I can actually go over like some like Bedwars stories where I like put in my mind before I upload instead of like a little this kind of like a rant of how my six year journey um like the video this video gets can I aim big I want to aim big I feel like this can this video get this is me aiming big this video gets 83 likes I'll upload another one of this where I just tell early OG day stories but yeah it's my first time doing a post commentary editing myself so let's hope everything goes good and um, um, have a great day, everybody. Bye.